human animal. You are a very special breed. For you are the only animal who can think, who can reason, who can read. How all your pets are smart, that's true. But none of them can add up two and two because the only thinking animal is you, you. looking in because I'm going to tell you about something you can't see or hear or touch and life would be pretty dull without them they're your senses of smell and taste now when it comes to flowers your sense of smell works alone but when it comes to food your sense of smell and your sense of taste work together Delicious. Now let's go back a few years. <laughs> we'll start with early man. He used his sense of smell to help him locate food. Other animals use their sense of smell to locate him. Other animals have always had a keener sense of smell than man. Like the fox, the bear, the lion, the tiger, the dog. Whoop! Hold it right there. Now the dog has a very sharp sense of smell. You know why? His smelling area takes up almost his entire nasal cavity. While man's is only about the size of a fingernail. But man has a faculty no other animal has. The ability to think and plan. So with modern methods, he doesn't have to use his sense of smell to locate food. But the dog's nose still tells him everything. You know how I know all of these things? I get them out of books. You can find anything you want to know from books. Yes, sir. Everything about anything. Or vice versa. Sight and... Oh, this ought to show you. The senses of smell and taste. You know, man has the most developed taste of all the animals. And so, he likes a great variety of tasty dishes. Potato soup, salad, roast turkey, fried chicken, cams, corn on the cob, strawberry shortcake, and banana cream pie. All these various flavors, just man's enjoyment. But take away his sense of smell, and all these different dishes leave only four tastes. Because without your sense of smell, your taste buds, uh, stick out your tongue, boy, which are the taste receptors on your tongue, would have only four taste sensations. Sweet, salty, sour, and bitter. But taste plus smell add up to a feast. Boy, that makes my mouth water. You know, not all animals taste with their tongues or smell with their noses. Certain fish taste with the outsides of their bodies and even with their tail fins. And it's claimed that Mr. Catfish tastes with his whiskers. Hey, beat it. Come on, break it up. I'm not fish bait. Now, here's a little creature called a... a for me, see day, hymenoptera, or in plain English, the ant. He smells with his antennas. The ants live entirely by their sense of smell. Scouts are sent out to hunt for food. Uh-oh, he's picked up a scent. 
Picnic spread. The news is sent back, and the whole colony goes into action. Yes, sir, food out in the open seems to sharpen the appetite. Er, uh, for the ants, that is. Well, look who's here. You know, Miss Butterfly has an amazing sense of smell for locating food. And before she eats, she tastes it with taste cells on her feet. Uh, taste with her feet? Well, everyone to his own taste, I guess. Now, you've heard the expression, smells so good I can taste it. Well, that's really true. Take a cup of hot chocolate. As soon as your nose inhales the aroma, your tongue is practically tasting it. When you sip the chocolate, the messages from your taste buds and the messages from your smell receptors travel upward and arrive in the brain as one sensation. So you see, it takes both the senses of smell and taste to enjoy flavor. Now, some people won't believe this, but if you want to have some fun, take a slice of apple, a slice of pear, and a friend. Now, blindfold your friend. No peeking. Hold the piece of pear under her nose while you put the piece of apple in her mouth. Bet she'll tell you she's eaten the pear. I've told you a few things about two of your five senses, those of smell, and taste. They're separate, but they act together. Their routine is so close, they seem like one.